Hello and welcome to another edition of Ngozi's Kitchen. Today's Mount Watery dish is going to be a delicious African dish, highly rich in protein, a traditional soup from Nigeria, and one of our so beloved, the most popular amongst Nigerians. Egusi comes from a specific type of melon grown in West Africa. It is served with pounded yam, gari or fufu to help bring body and soul together. Today, Egusi has traveled to different parts of the world now, I will show you the quick and healthy way of preparing a goosey soup. Let's get cracking. To prepare a pot of a goosey soup for two to four people, the ingredients I'm going to be using are, the main ingredient is a goosey seed or melon seed itself. I'll be using stockfish, beef, smoked prawns. I've got the stock out of the beef, fluted pumpkin, which is ugu leaves, bitter leaf, washed and uh, the bitterness taken away, crayfish, onions, bell pepper, scotch bonnet chili, and obviously my all-purpose seasoning from Jumbo. I've got here with me the blended uh, igusi melon seed already just with water and that's the paste I'm going to be using. To start off I would add the stock. I will add my stock. I've already preheated the uh, my skillet. I will add with the stock and then I would add my Bended scotch bonnet chili there, onions and bell pepper. And I'm going to add it to the stock. The reason why I'm using bell pepper instead of palm oil is because bell pepper is going to give me the redness that I need, the red color that I need for the emulsi soup. Now I'm going to add that in. Okay, the next, the next step is to add my stockfish. It's been cooked already and deboned, so I'll put my stockfish in. I want it to cook a little bit more so that I will get that tender tenderness in it and soft. Now I would add the igusi melon in puree to the into the skillet. That gives me a smooth mixture. And as you can see, the redness we all want is there. I will cover that and allow it to simmer for five to ten minutes and I will come back to it. It has always been good for families to sit together and eat a meal as a family to bring the body and soul together. And uh, I've always thought that help, helps the children as well in the family to get to know their family very well and also get to know the food they are eating. In Nigeria, a greasy soup is eaten in almost every part of Nigeria and in West Africa as well. So many different ways of preparing the greasy soup and to eat the greasy soup 
it goes with gari, fufu, oatmeal, eba, which is part of gari as well. It's another way of calling, saying I'm going to eat gari. And while I'm waiting for the egusi soup to cook, I'm going to go straight into preparing the powdered yam, which we are going to use to eat the soup. Now here, I've got the hot water ready. And uh, the pounded, the uh, pounded yam flour, which is basically yam, and is put into a flour form. And I'm going to use that in the hot water. I always like using my whisk in doing things like this because it doesn't allow lumps and it comes out very smooth, which is what I would like it to be. So I'm going to add a bit of the, the yam powder, which is pounded yam, into the, my skillet. And then I would, once it is smooth and I've mixed it up properly, then I will use my wooden spoon. So in goes my pounded yam. flour goes in. For those that find it very difficult to use the wooden spoon at first, I advise you use the whisk. I will need a bit of water to go into it. Now I'll get rid of this whisk and then I'll use my uh, wooden spoon. The whisk has actually helped me not to, or helped the pounded yam not to have that lump, which can be very difficult if you are doing this for the first time. Now you can see that it is smooth. And uh, let's bring up the light a little bit, the heat. It's smooth and I'm going to cover it up to cook with that little bit of water I've put in there. And then I'll come back to it. You see, itself is, is cooking, looking very ready, and the color is exactly what we want. Without the color, no Africa will believe is a wussy soup. But what is happening how, now is the bell pepper has taken its course, and uh, we can see. That is what it is, Ibusi soup. Now I'm going to add the smoke, smoked prawns, add my beef, and oh yes, we'll add my bitter leaf. There is no right and wrong way of cooking this dish as long as you are cooking it in a healthy way like Ngozi's kitchen would preach. We will arrive at the same pot of Ibusi soup. Now I'm adding that bitter leaf because the bitter leaf can be a little bit too tough before you can chew it. So I want it to be a little bit soft for us to enjoy it. Now I will close this, close, the, close it now for another 10 minutes. And I'm just I will now put the fluted pumpkin, the ogu leaf. Going back to the pounded yam. This is cooking really good.
We don't want it very soft. We don't want it also to. Um, we don't want it very soft. We also don't want it to be too thick. So I just add a little bit of that because I think I added too much water to it. That's, that's better. Give it another five minutes and I will uh, dish it out. All right, let's check the pounded yam to see that's good. Now I'm going to switch that off. And then Okay, I'm going to put that in there. Just about just trying to mold it in a shape so that's okay. Right. Now let's have a look and see what is happening to the goosey soup itself. Wow, look at that. Mmm. It smells good too. Now I'm going to add my crayfish. I'm going to add my jumbo all purpose seasoning for the flavor, the African flavor that I need for this Igusi soup. We'll get, I'll get that from there. Give it a good stir. Mm, I'll tell you, I haven't got you at home, and I'm sorry you, your nurseries are not very close to this pot of a pussy soup. But if you are watching, you saw what I did, the technique I used to prepare this. A greasy soup without palm oil, just bell pepper, scotch bonnet, chilies, and onions. And that's why we got this uh, red color. And now I'm going to add the ugu leaf. This, the ugu leaf is optional. You might prefer to use just the bitter leaf. And you might prefer to use, instead of ugu, you might want to use the Okazi leaf is optional, it's, it's, it depends. And uh, we are almost getting to serve the goosey soup. 
So I'll allow the ugu to the fluted pumpkin leaf to simmer for another five minutes and then it's ready to serve. It's bubbling away. Let's clear the table for Now let's find out what is cooking. Oh, my oh my. This is delicious. It looks very delicious. Now I'm going to dish it out. Got my beef there. Put a bit of the prawns. Bit of the stockfish, oh, look at that, that's delicious. Now switch it off. Try this at home, it's very easy, it's very quick, it's very healthy. A greasy soup with bitter leaf prepared with smoked prawns, stockfish, beef, and bitter leaf, and ugu. You can't go wrong. I'm going to eat the greasy soup with the pounded yam the right way we eat it in Africa. We start off by washing our hands, and then talking. Hmm. Very nice. You can use cutleries if you wish, but I tell you, the taste is not the same. The fingers does the right work. Hmm. So good. You must have learned something today. Go rock your kitchen. See you same time next week. Odaro, Kukwana Lapia, Dubai, Kachifuni. Good night.